up guys this is misty girl 4000 here and today yes we are doing another vocaloid video i have been planning this but then i have just been putting it off for a while just because you know i don't think i need another video about it but then a bunch of vocaloid songs just came in my head that i wish i had put on the first list so i'm gonna put them on the part two list today right now Let's get this video started. Coming in at number 10, we have Bad Apple. That's right, I used the English version. But that's only because the original version kept lagging in the process of making this video. So I just went with this. Also, Juby Phonics voice is just perfect for this song. Coming in at number nine, we have Circus Monster. We must take and come and show must go on, it's tip for all. I'm not sure if I'm the only one, but it always seems like every single time I listen to this song, I always think of Circus Baby from Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. It's probably because I'm such a huge kind of like FNAF fan, so I guess <laughs> it's just weird. I don't know why. It's probably because the word circus isn't it. That's probably why. Anyways, the reason why I like this song it's because it's so calm, yet it's somehow, like, the beat is somehow a little bit a beat. It's a little bit a beat, but despite the lyrics being so freaking dark, which I love my dark stuff. <laughs> Up next is Ghost to Rule. Yes! Yes! More costume changes! More! <laughs> okay, okay, let me stop. Oh, let me stop. First time I listened to this song was actually like the, you know, like the calm version, an English version. I never actually listened to the original version until I actually discovered it while watching one of Hasune Miku's recent concerts. And it was awesome to watch and listen to. And the fact was, I knew all the freaking English lyrics. So it made it even better. At number seven, we have Last of Me. Reach and press my theme button. Can't you see it? There's nobody here. Watch out here on your final run. And I'm already long gone. I'm standing before you completely see it through. Weird thing though, this song, well, this video kind of used to freak me out a bit. Because the f every time the eyes are open, you will just see everything. After re-watching the video, I realized that some images in her eyes actually reference some of her some of Circus P's like original Vocaloid videos. So I thought that was kinda cool. <laughs> Up next is Goodbye.
this song is basically showing how, like, not showing, it's like having Mika sing about how much she just feels like she's a wasted breath of air and that she should just die. Uh, no, nope, this is, this is dark. It's freaking dark, Jesus Christ. I would never, ever, ever want anything to happen to one of my favorite Vocaloid singers. Ever. No. It, it can't happen. No! Anyways, I just love the beat of this song, and I love the music in the background. It's just that the lyrics are just so dark to me, and yet I still find myself singing it. Don't know why, I guess it just gets stuck in my head. <laughs> Next spot, we have remote control. truly found out what this song was truly about. I'm not sure this they're singing about you completely being controlled like a remote control in a video game or something. But whatever, this song is freaking awesome. So, yep. The 1%, okay, 10% of reasons why I like this song is because I love video games and this thing has a freaking remote control about it, basically showing like a little code. Also because I love upbeat songs so much, and especially comes with Vocaloid when it's done right. <laughs> Up next is Romeo and Cinderella. The title of the song actually sounds like a ship name between Romeo, well, Romeo and Cinderella. Maybe you should actually create one. Hmm. Oh, I got it. Romeo Rella? No, that sounded bad. <laughs> this is basically one of those beautiful songs you can listen to anywhere. And it'll basically calm you down. You know, being a love song with, you know, had a little bit of sexual in the windows here and there. But hey, it's a good song. <laughs> Up next, the real disappearance of Hatsune Miku. Wait, didn't you already do this song last list? No, that was the disappearance of Hatsune Miku. This is the real disappearance of Hatsune Miku. Funny enough, I actually ended up checking out the song after looking at this first video for the first time. Well, we're watching it, and I saw a YouTube comment saying that I should check out this song. Well, I said, Psh, it can't be that good. Well, look at it now. It's on this list, and I freaking love it. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, dude. The 
Now we have a song called Nakaka Pagabak. You know what? How you? How about you just say it, Len? Thank you. Anyways, I discovered this song while just looking at random vocalized songs. It's basically listening to a bunch of random ones. Some I liked, some I didn't like that much, and I thought it was okay. But this one hit me like a hurricane. Like, oh my god. It's a beat. It's fast paced. Got a, like the one of the best Vocaloid singers out there. It's freaking amazing. After looking at the original video, I actually found this really cool gameplay of it. It's really amazing. You should go check it out. Link will be in the description. <laughs> And the number one spot for the top 10 favorite Vocaloid song part 2 list is Tell Your World. This song is just so freaking beautiful. And the video is amazing to look at too. With all the bright colors, the visuals, the galaxy light setting, everything. And I love the piano in the background. Miku singing along with it. Her voice matches the song just so perfectly. It's just so amazing. I think this song was played during one of her concerts too. Like I think it was like... This is a 2017 one because it's showing the video is showing all the cubes that were like a huge deal last year. So it was just amazing. I think it actually looked a bit better than how the concert looked a little bit, kind of, sort of. Maybe because it's animated, who knows. But whatever the case may be, this has taken the number one spot in my heart as the best, my most favorite Vocaloid song of part two. Anyways, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It means a lot to me. And, uh, yeah, if you liked it, that's great. If you don't like it, that's also great. Have a beautiful night.